Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my empties video. This little basket has been piling up and it's time to take out the trash. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that fell off this big pile is the hair color I use. This is the Garnier Nutrius Ultra Color Nourishing Color Creme Ultra Intense Burgundy for Darker Hair. I really like this because I it doesn't like damage my hair and it is truly really good for darker hair. I feel like the color really gets onto my hair which is great because some colors, hair colors, I can use and nothing happens. So I really like this stuff. So if you're looking at doing a DIY at home, I would totally recommend checking out this Garnier hair product, specifically this kind for darker hair. If you have darker hair, I got a whole bunch of makeup wipes up here. So all different ones by Neutrogena. This is my favorite kind. I would definitely not recommend either of these, especially the pink one. This is the pink grapefruit for acne prone skin. This stuff smells so bad. I couldn't even like convince myself to go through this pack. I literally just used it to like clean up swatches and it just reeked. I used to really like this one, which is the hydrating kind but it's just too soggy and I just did not enjoy it. So the blue ones are my favorite. I've literally gone through like a whole pile of them in the last few months. I also really like these guys. I talk about them all the time. These are the Sephora like foot masks. So they're like five to six dollars and I basically wear them overnight. I have really dry feet. I've said that before in previous videos and I like these because I wear them overnight and I feel like they really nourish my feet. So if you guys have any kind of, you know, dry feet, they also have like face mask, hair masks, eye mask, hand mask. They make really good masks and they're super affordable by Sephora brand. So I would totally recommend checking that out. I finally finished this Murad Clarifying Acne Cleanser. This is 1.5 salicylic acid acne treatment and I've had this forever. This lasted me a really long time. I picked it up I think like a year and a half ago and when Ulta had it on sale for $15. This usually retails for $30 but I got it for half off and I thought it was a really really good deal and it lasted me a long time and I did think it really reduced and prevented acne on my face. So I would definitely repurchase this but right now I have so many other skincare Care product. I'm not planning on rebuying it at this time unless Alta does some awesome deal. I went through the Shiseido facial cotton wipe things. These are nice. They're a little bit more expensive, but you do get a lot of cotton pads. So I would probably definitely repurchase these, except I don't think Shiseido is cruelty free. And right now I just got some more affordable ones from Walmart. So I don't have any right now, but potentially if you're really into nice facial cotton, really soft facial cotton, you might really like that. This is the Garnier Fructis Damage Eraser for distressed and damaged hair. I have the shampoo and the conditioner. This is the shampoo. This made my hair really greasy, so I just used it up. I will not repurchase this. Next is the Sephora Instant Nail Polish Remover. I love this stuff. I've repurchased this many, 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 many times. I just love how easy this is and how well it takes off my nail polish and just how convenient it is and not messy. You just dip your finger in this and I love it. So if you're looking for a good nail polish remover, I would recommend this one to you guys. Next, I have a mask. This is from my Face Story box. This is a seven day mask, lemon brightening and soothing. I really couldn't tell you like anything exceptional about this mask, but uh, I do really like sheet masks. So you'll see a lot of these. This I actually remember putting on my face. I believe this is the Garnier Moisture Balm and I have relatively dry skin. So I was really excited to put this on my face, but I feel like I remember this was making my face sting. I really didn't like it on my face. And I have the other two to the green and the blue mask. I haven't used those yet, but this one I was not impressed with. So I will not be repurchasing that. I finished up a whole Soap and Glory Sugar Crush body wash and this is with lime oil and kiwi water juice and all this wonderful stuff. Soap and Glory products smell really great. I don't think I'll be repurchasing this anytime soon. My husband did not like the fragrance so we try to get something we both like so I won't be repurchasing this but they do make really nice shower products if you're ever interested in any of that. This is the LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner. I picked this up from the dollar store 
store because I was really interested in like testing it out. I didn't like the wand and I don't know, I just didn't think it was very good. It has a really, really thin wand. It's a pain in the ass. I have a friend who swears by the liquid liner from the Dollar Tree and I just was not, you know, it wasn't working out with me in the Dollar Tree. So I had to pass on that, will not be repurchasing. This was probably one of my favorite bronzers of all time. This is a Monaco bronzer in the shimmer. And I got this in like a boxy charm and I honestly really like this. I could potentially repurchase this, but I do think this is a little bit expensive. It's like $26. I don't know where you can get Monaco except on their website. So for right now, I don't have plans to buy it, but I do recommend that bronzer. It's really, really nice. This is the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer in Deep Brown. I was using this instead of the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and the Benefit Brow, whatever that thing is. And this is affordable, so I, I didn't think it was bad. So yeah, it's a good like drugstore alternate to some of the higher end things. Jack Black Lip Balm in the flavor Shea Butter. I've heard really good things about this, but I really wasn't that impressed by this, so I will not be repurchasing this again. Next is one of my favorite lip balms of all time. This is the Fresh Sugar Lip Balms. These are so good, but they're so pricey. I do really like these, especially in the winter time because they're really, really moisturizing. So if you're looking for a good lip balm, that is my go-to. I picked up the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express in Waterproof. I hadn't used this in a really long time, so I was just curious to try it out again. Wasn't that great, nothing to write home about. I would definitely skip it. I finished a whole pack of Ardell lashes. These are my favorite lashes of all time, the Wispies. So if you're looking for affordable drugstore lashes, these are 11 something for four of them. So I think that's a really good deal. This mascara is being discontinued or is discontinued, but I have a few backups, so I really do like I'm really sad that they discontinued this by L'Oreal, but this is the Voluminous Miss Manga Rocks Mascara. You can still find this at like TJ Maxx and some Marshall stores, but yeah, I miss it. I miss it being around, but it is what it is, you know. I do like the new L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, so... At least they gave us something good in return for taking that one away. This is the MAC Extend Play Giga Black Lash. And I actually bought this during that Nordstrom sale where they always do like buy two, get one free mascara. And I've heard so many good things about this mascara that I wanted to try it out. A lot of people really like it in their lower lash line. Personally, I didn't think it was that revolutionary. So I wouldn't go out and spend any more than $10 on mascara just because I think the drugstore continues to put out really good affordable mascaras. So so I really don't like high-end mascaras just because I think they're a huge waste of money. Another Garnier, this is in Deepest Intense Burgundy. Again, I really just like that brand because I think it really works well with dark hair. And looks like I finished up another pack of Ardell Wispies. And then I finished up two Naked Weightless Creamy Concealers. These are so good. This is definitely one of my favorite concealers. I can't believe, like, I never really go through, like, makeup that much because I have so much. It's so hard for me to finish stuff. But these are so good. And, yeah, I just, I will definitely repurchase this. But I used up two of them. So I'm pretty proud of myself. And if you haven't tried this concealer, I would definitely recommend. Another makeup item I did finish up is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is in the shade 4N2 Spice Sand. This color works really well for me. So cool when you finish up makeup. I can see a little bit here in this corner, but it's relatively done. And yeah, I'm so excited. I love that foundation. Definitely will repurchase over and over. This is so getting thrown out. This is the, I don't even know who makes this. This was like one of those like Instagram made me buy things. Laura Lee was talking about it, I think. And it's supposed be like a face brush but honestly it like sucks balls and I don't want it so I'm gonna get rid of this but I wanted to talk about it to you guys here's another pack of cotton this is from Target and that was really good I did like these I think I like all the elf wipes I think they're really good these are the hydrating water cleansing cloths and they are alcohol free I think elf always you know has is just knocking things out of the park 
And so if you're looking for some affordable wipes, these are really good. Here is another, like, Instagram made me buy it, and I wish I hadn't. This is the Sara Hap the Lip Slip, and I honestly hate this lip balm. Nicole from Young, Well & Polish was raving about this a while ago, and I was like, cool, I'll get it. But honestly, it's so rough and, like, hard, and it's so, like, you know how some lip balms will, like, melt when you, like, put your finger in them? This one just feels like rock. Can't believe I spent money on this. I'm so mad. It's, like, so overpriced and shitty. So do yourself a favor and just don't waste your money on it. Um, more sheet masks from my face dirty box. I'm not going to go into detail. Here is a, another Sephora mask. This is a hand mask. I believe my husband used the hand masks. He has really dry hands. These must have been really bad because apparently I didn't even use the pack. I'm assuming it made my face sting or something, but these are the Ultra Beauty On The Go Makeup Remover Facial Towelet for gentle cleansing for sensitive skin. And I didn't use it, so it must mean it didn't work out for us. Next is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This has been in my shower for about a year. I usually use this in the morning when I cleanse my face, and so I went through it not too quickly. This stuff is not cheap. It's about in the $38 to $40 range. Fresh is not cruelty-free. If you're, you know, trying to be cruelty-free, you might not want this. I had it in my collection, so I used it up. And I had this little Clinique Pep Start uh, little sample and I hated it. It didn't really do anything for me, so I'm glad I went through it and I'm going to toss it. And then finally, these three pack of eyebrow razors. I don't know how to use these, so I never really like got into them. But if any of you guys have tips on how to make these work, you can definitely let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to, you know, hear your suggestions. Otherwise, I'm decluttering these and tossing them because I don't need this. I have too much crap to begin with, so yeah, that's basically my final item, so empty bin right here, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my empties video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Tell me some of your most used items in your makeup collection. I would love to hear from you guys, of course, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.